What's up, comic book fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, back with another comic book recommendation. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Supergirl special from DC Comics. Here's a look at the creative team. This book was on my radar as soon as I heard the name Skylar Patridge. She is one of my favorite artists. Also, it's written by Mariko Tamaki, who wrote Being Super, which is another outstanding Supergirl story. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from this comic. On the cover, it says, On Her Own, Ready for Battle. And this comic features many familiar faces. Lois Lane, John Kent, and as you can see here, there is Power Girl. Much of the narrative centers on Kara dealing with her insecurities, especially with Power Girl around. But we also get some flashbacks to Krypton, and I have to point out a couple of panels here. Here is Kara reminiscing about her home, and look at this art. My goodness, it is breathtaking. And look at all of this detail here on Argo City. It really gives you an idea of just how vast and complex Kryptonian culture was. If you're wondering if the hero who started it all is in this book, the answer is yes. There's a look at Superman. But look at how dynamic these panels are. You can feel the strain and the heightened emotion here. It's amazing. On her Twitter account, I refuse to call it X, Skylar Patridge talked about how proud she was of this contribution to the Supergirl mythos. When Kara gets nervous, she plays with her food, and that results in what we see here on the bottom of the page, a cupcake sandwich. I just love this page. Here's a look at a childhood race. And Mariko Tamaki does an outstanding job at establishing Kara's sense of self-doubt as something that has developed throughout her life, leading to her mindset in this story. As I said before, what drew me to this was the art of Skylar Patridge, and I think this speaks for itself. Look at the emotional content here. Skylar's art is incredibly powerful. So if you're looking for an entertaining comic or perhaps a gift for the holidays, this story would be perfect in either scenario. It's not necessary to catch up on a lot of current continuity. And you get some superb art in this book. I highly recommend that you buy a physical copy. There's also some variant covers. So if you're a collector, you might want to add more than one to your collection. I hope you have enjoyed this review. If so, please like and subscribe. And until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.